compare and contrast, right? You can't just do Neon Gods versus a Touch of Darkness. You have to do Neon Gods versus a Touch of Darkness and a Game of Fate. The reason I say that is because these are both Persephone and Hades retelling stories. Yes, this has got a whole nother series that I just found out about, but that relates to other gods. This is just Persephone and Hades. This whole series continued at Persephone and Hades. But this is a third person point of view. This is first person point of view. This one is Persephone and then Hades, or you could read them together, or you could flip pop them if you wanted to. This one is chapter by chapter, Persephone, Hades, Persephone, Hades, Persephone, Hades. So, and you can see, boom, the difference between you reading one with Persephone and Hades, because obviously, so you're going to get half of this is Persephone and half of this is Hades, although it's happening at the same time, same timeline, right? So you got Persephone, it's first point of view, and then you got Hades, per first point of view, and then back and forth, back and forth. With this one, you're going to read third point of view, Persephone, and then third point of view, Hades. Now, this one is more of the retelling of uh, she kind of twists it. We still have Zeus and Poseidon and all them, but they're still rulers. So they're going to be mild spoilers for each, maybe. Um, Persephone, Persephone, Hades, Zeus, and Poseidon, right? They fought the war, killed the parents. And then they each got, Zeus got the sky, Poseidon got the sea, and Hades got the underworld. And then they all shared Earth. Where they say this happened in this, um, at the beginning, because I'm about third, I haven't finished this yet, so. I am third way, oh, third way, done with this. But, that happened, but way before. Where now, you have the control of 13, is what you're calling them, which is the 13 gods. However, Hades is the 13th, but he controls the lower city, and they don't talk about him. So it's really the 12 that control the higher city. This is what they, or Olympus. Because this is focused on Olympus, um, it's really focused all right there in, you know, the one spot. Olympus, you got the higher city, and then you got the lower city. So this one feels more like gods. This one feels more like m normal people. Also, the powers... So this one is generation to generation. So you can become Zeus. He passes the town. So grandfather, father, son, grandkid, whatever he gets passed down. And then all apparently all the gods. Like Hermes, this obviously, the god of trickery. Um, and this is the male, like he was back in the Greek mythology. Where this one, that's a female. So anyone can become a god um, in this based on the god so it might be generation or it could be anybody but you'll learn obviously i'm going to learn more about that too when i finish this book but you can already feel the difference like this one you feel more powerful gods this one you feel less powerful gods this one you kind of feel even though zeus is still zeus where he's kind of on top this one feels like zeus is completely on top but controls everything um also hades in this i like persephone and both Persephone and Bold, great. Hades in this, awesome. Hades in this kind of feels like an, a witch. Like, come here, my little pretty. You know what I mean? This is kind of the witchy talk. Like, I don't know if I like Hades in this. As, like I said, well, I'm one third of the way in. The smut level, I, I heard the smut level is way worse than this one. I'm third way through, and they barely talked about it. Um, so, I have heard no smut, yeah, um, but Hades, I don't really like him too much on this so far. You just don't feel the power, you don't feel the presence like you do automatically in this one. Like, as soon as you know Hades in this one, and the nightclub, um, what's, what's the name of his bar, or his casino, whatever it is, the night, night something, you feel that power, you feel the presence. This one... I feel like an old witch. Like, they don't feel like gods in this one. Not saying that this is a bad story, because so far I'm liking this story. I just don't like Hades in it yet. Yet. Hopefully, I begin to like Hades. So, obviously, him and Zeus have this whole thing where they didn't even know Hades. This is, like, right at the beginning. Nobody even knew Hades was still alive. It was just, they got the statue of the 13. Hades wasn't there. And then, she was gonna... 
Mary Zeus. Yeah. yeah. Demeter's still the same, though. Both sides. Demeter the mom is still a bitch. So. Um, mom's still the same in both. More presence in this one. Less presence in this one. But she's still there. At, like, a seven-month third of the way. And on the other thing, they call, call him the Boogeyman. Hades. Like, what is this? John Wick? Freaking Boogeyman? Just the Boogeyman of the lower city? I don't know. There's some stuff. Hmm. I say this one is still favorite. Top. Not saying that I'm not getting into this one, because I am getting into this, I still want to know what happens. And the fact that they she does stories on all the gods in different books is something that I'm really going to get into. I probably want, want to read all of them, but as of right now, this one is tough and this one, but we haven't got all the way. We're about to seem like what is going to happen to the war about to happen. So like I said, there's no more Poseidon gets to see... Zeus gets to the sky, and Hades gets the that's the thirteen just share everything. But Zeus is the top, but Hades controls the lower city. What a confusing, ain't it? And you still got, like I said, Hermes, but Hermes is a girl. And then you still got um another god because they're introducing more gods. It's like she's got her sisters in this. Psyche is one. Um, so and I believe that's in the, one of the other books is Psyche and whoever she's married to. Then there's Aphrodite one, which is really cool, and that Aries one. But anyway, comparing contrast, more of a god feel, less of a god feel. Hades is more powerful, mm, more witchy in this one. You felt the smut tension in this one pretty quick. This one, not as much. Um, you know, I had to finish this, and then we'll do a full overview on it, but I just wanted to Compare and contrast of so which way you want to go. I would say lean this way a little bit more than lean them this way, but not to say not to read this because you might enjoy it. And I, I'm, I'm enjoying the story. Like I said, I just Hades. Mm. So, anyway, seven minute video. Here's your compare and contrast. Eon Gods, A Game of Fate, A Touch of Darkness. For stepping in these retelling, you decide. See you on the next one. Peace.